Even if you are convinced of the power of linked notes, you won't be able to use links if you don't have any notes. And not all notes are created equal. You obviously know about note taking, but today is about note making, because note making is where we generate the most value for ourselves in the moment, for everyone around us, and for ourselves into the future. But first, what were we even doing before linked notes? Well, for most of our history, we kept it up here, even after paper. Then we had paper, then Microsoft Word, fast forward a couple eons, then Evernote for many of us. And that was a big moment because now we could create notes really fast. And boy, did we. Well, mostly we clipped countless articles and we drowned ourselves in an ocean of other people's thoughts. We didn't know any better. And it's part of the reason that today we feel so much pain and anxiety trying to manage knowledge. We just frankly never learned how. But finally, after a few decades, we've developed some best practices for reliably turning the digital chaos into digital gold, turning basic highlights into valuable insights. And the answer, is less note taking and more note making. So if you want to do more thinking with your own thoughts, go ahead and hit that like button for me and show support for your fellow note makers. While I can't cover too much note making for you right now, here's a brief example for you. You ready? All right, let's go. And now we're back in Ideaverse for Obsidian. Let me open a note on a person. Carl Sagan. And I have some stuff in here that you won't find in your version of Ideaverse just yet anyways. And let's walk through that together. So you can do this. You can take notes on people and they can be living, they can be your friends or family, or they can be long deceased. They can be prominent people. And that's what we have here with Carl Sagan. He's most known for his 1980s show on TV called Cosmos. So anyways, he's somebody that's earned my highest praise out of almost anyone I know. So in a simple effort of note making, I wrote the following. When I think of Carl Sagan, I think of Mihai Csikszentmihalyi. Mihai. What Carl Sagan did for my love of the cosmos, Mihai did for my love of flow. Both have enriched my life. Okay, what just happened there? What just happened above? Let's twirl this down and find out because this just seems like a couple sentences. Like what's the magic? So if we twirl this down, just by making my thoughts visible and typing them out, I went through the NOMA method. NOMA stands for note making. So now, above, in just 34 words, I've already gone through four really important prompts. That reminds me, it's similar, it's different, it's important, because. Now let's see how that looks. When I think of Carl Sagan, it's similar and different because, and then we look at how Carl Sagan expanded my love for the cosmos, where Mihai expanded my love for this concept of flow, and then last, it's important because, and then here you have it, both have enriched my life. This is note making, my friends, and it's how we draw out us, our unique perspective out of billions and billions of humans. How many have made this connection? Maybe one, maybe at most a handful. But here's the thing, the note maker can't help but reveal and generate their own unique perspective simply by putting themselves in an environment that brings it out of us. So in my best Carl Sagan impression, note making isn't just organizing ideas. It's a way for us to know ourselves. And it can go deeper if we allow our curiosity to lead us. So if I go to the top of this note and let me go ahead and click on the up link that I have here, the people map. Now I want to scroll down to this cool prominent people section and it's organized by years lived, starting with the date that people were born. And if I look at Carl Sagan here, now this is really interesting. Someone else, actually a couple people, but it just so turns out that Mihai was born the exact same year. Whoa, that is interesting. And even further, they were born roughly just over five decades before me. So let's just hit pause and recognize that my digital idea verse here helped me generate an insight in my inner idea verse. And I was so excited about this new insight that I made a new note. And that note is not included in idea verse for Obsidian, but I do have it handy here and it's called the five decade rule. The idea emerged organically from just having enough things in a single spot tightly packed together. And we'll cover this more in the next part on maps of content. But because I planted this seed in my idea verse about the five decade rule, and you can see this was in the beginning of January of 2022. And I was fine with that. I just let it sit there. I didn't do anything with it. It was just marinating in the background of my mind. 
But I found myself randomly bringing it up in conversations. And then suddenly one day I felt compelled enough to write it all out. And that's when I decided, hey, I, I could make a YouTube video out of this. So this is how ideas can actually be born out of collisions from other concepts or people or experiences. And then if you give them a place to be planted, they can emerge into something. That's idea emergence. That's why the note maker wins. So in this case, you can see it's turned into a YouTube video. I have my original overview here. I can close that. I even track down the origin, which I'm talking about right now as a happy little accident. And I have my YouTube script on it. So all of this, the power of linking your thinking and the power of note making. That right here is only a single example of how curiosity creates real value if you let it. If you let it. Note making is a skill you can learn and improve, and you can get plenty of reps note making during our Linking Your Thinking workshop. And that's one reason why so many alumni keep reattending. You can definitely learn more by clicking the workshop link in the description below. Now, in the final part of this epic introduction to the Ideaverse, we will finally cover how to overcome mental squeeze points to supercharge your thinking. And we do that with maps of content. So when you're ready, click here to jump to the next lesson, and I'll see you in the next one.